Hi, welcome to the ICT assessment tool from Help to Learn. What we're going to do is run a little overview for teachers who want to use this. When you purchase it, you get a CD-ROM and you can install this with all the software and all the help. And you need to put it onto, you can see we've put it onto a network and assigned a drive letter for it. Here we've assigned the letter P. We can put the entire ICT folder in here and you can see w w what it, the end product looks like. So we've got all our classes here, all 18 classes. In here you get the setup folder. So if I go into my setup folder, I won't go into the classes because this is go going to be, it'll have all the class names on there. I don't want to do that just yet. Instead, when you go into the setup, you get all your help f files. You can see those there with the question marks. You get an ICT data analysis, ICT assessment generator, which we're going to show you in a second, a blank one, and then you can see that we've got all the year groups from year one all the way up to year six. And you notice that this one here is end of year five. So year six children go in here and they're all slightly different to the next, so they're kind of, they're kind of graded. So they're partially done for you. It means that it cuts down on the amount of clicks that you have to go through when you're making, when you're assessing the children in the first place. So I'm going to go to ICT Assessment Generator. I'm going to double click this and open it up. And you need to put the password in. You can change this because you get a generic password and you can change this later. Actually, I'll show you where that is. Down there, there's a little password tab. In here, you need to make a uh, a school-wide or or class-wide uh, CSV file. So I'm just going to move my window down. You can go to Import Text File here, and you can see these go and drop all the text: surnames, first name, gender, date of birth, etc., etc., etc. And you can send it to the generator, which is the tab previous. The nice thing about here, about what they've done here, is they're giving you screenshots of what it should look like and how you'll be entering the text. The macros that they've made, you have to do them in order. Um, you have to check the data integrity, so you have to make sure that the, the date of birth is in the right order, names in the right order, and you've got a school name and the number of pupils you're entering. And then what it'll do then is this macro here will then go and generate an entire class worth or maybe even a year group depending on what you want of pupil spreadsheets and I'll show you what the pupil spreadsheets looks like in a moment. I'm going to go and go to my import text file so I'm going to type in Bob Smith I'm not going to bother with uh, date of birth I'm going to put mail and then we need to select whoopsie daisy there we go so you can see that uh, they've got lots of parameters for the cells which is quite handy uh, go and type in your school and then check the data integrity it'll probably say that something is missing data birth is missing so you have to put the data births in uh, save the data and then create the pupil spreadsheets and that's basically it what they show you is in import help is how to get the data and import in external data. Uh, all the, the help is here which is fantastic. So you can see that all the names are put in and which year group they're going to be starting at. Generator help is pretty much the same. It tells you exactly what to do, how to use it, what each bit does. It's fantastic. Generator, once it's generated the uh, assessment sheet. I'm going to go into my folders, into my setup, bring that up, and I'm going to show you what they look like. So once you're done, all those that macro will make this and boilerplate it. So you'll have your school name, all the people's names will be in there, just like a mail merge, and then you get all the tabs 
as macros and it puts it in the in the correct order so you see this got a zero here but you'll have the child's name what the children like initially is that it's it's personalized it's for them the ones that I've used before they're not personalized and they have to type the name in because it's all done and it's got their gender and date of birth for them it tells it makes it very personal for them at the bottom you can see that all the tabs in case the macros or maybe your school your school security policy doesn't allow you to use macros but it gives you readouts the printouts which parents love at parents evening you can see that it shows them at a glance you don't have to go through all the all the work although I can show you the work in a second because each child then has a portfolio what the, what the what the macro does is it creates a portfolio as well it makes it a folder and then the nice element that makes it a lot easier is for peer assessment which is basically what we do for the 260 year children that, that we have here is we peer assess it because the children are pretty much ruthless when it comes to assessment so their targets and they have to prove that they, they've done these targets because in here when they've ticked it to say what they can do and how well they can do it over here they have to hyperlink the folders and the nice thing is it goes into their portfolio and you see the portfolios here what do the portfolios look like if I just bring this window up I'll show you what a portfolio looks like so you can see these it generates a blank folder for each child and they go and drag and drop work in there and that's how they go and hyperlink to it makes life very very easy I've got to say that it is a bit click intensive um, but if you get the children to do it for each other it cuts down on the time that, that you're administrating it. That's it. Thank you.